I'm Fran Gallen, and I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Fran Gallen's complex mixed-media pieces at the Rosenfeld Gallery combine elements of painting, printmaking, and photography. These works become richly elusive meditations on landscape, ancient history, and time. This work is really all landscape. That's what I've been doing for quite a while, what I call imaginary landscapes. They've become more and more refined. Somehow I got fixated on that horizontal line, standing for the horizon itself. When I'm working, I think about what's underneath, that's hidden, and the geometry of the earth. Fran Gallen had a high school art teacher who helped set her on her path to becoming a professional fine artist. Mr. Levy at Bartram, he called me down and said, I think you should be an art major. And he took us around to see the schools in the city. And I chose Philadelphia College of Art, where I went for four years and majored in photography with a minor in painting. Also attended the academy part-time and had a wonderful experience at Stockton State College years later at the Artist Teacher Institute. And that's when I began working on paper. That was 1988. I asked her how her striped collages began. And I started by accident, which is how many things happen, with edges of a piece that I was trying to trim. And I glued them onto a board. I said, wow, I love this. And that was a little tiny one. And some of them have gotten quite large. Now I'm cutting up old work, and now I've incorporated photographs from the 80s that a friend sent me from Israel. It turns out that Fran's Judaism is a very important part of her life and her art. My Judaism plays into my art in a very basic, organic way. When I first began working from ideas rather than working from still life, Things that came out all referred back to Jewish themes or ideas like the matriarchs, temples, all kinds of titles like that, which was a big surprise to me. As I've gone on and on and on, I see that's a huge part of who I am and of what I do. And I think the denseness of the work, the layered part of it, the ancient part, to me it feels like I'm unearthing archeological unknowns. As I study more Jewish text, it gets, as they say, broader and wider and deeper. So I hope the same for my work. It was great to meet Fran's family at the opening, including her son, Jacob. Don't we look alike? So she's been an artist your whole life? Oh, yeah. Did she neglect you to? <laughs> there was a jocular fellow at the opening who turned out to be Fran's rabbi. I wanted to know how he understood the religious themes of Fran's work. The religious implication of Fran's work is an appreciation of aesthetics of all sorts. The thing about Fran is what we see here is only a portion of her work. Actually works in so many different media and so well. And her imagination is boundless and endless and at the same time never goes crazy. Her imagination is both very, very broad and at the same time very focused. And you really are a rabbi? No, yeah, I am. Yes. <laughs> no or yes? Yes, I am. In 2008, Fran learned how to make art prints at the Women's Studio Workshop. I learned enough there that week to kind of get me into the Fleischer, where I teach at Fleischer, into the Fleischer uh, printmaking studio so I could use the press and the ink and know how to clean up after myself. So I've got these printed images that have found their way in, and wider stripes and with things in between, little landscapes appearing throughout this kind of flickering surface. I'm incorporating some mono printing with stencils. I love that surface and what happens with the press and thinking in a different way. I'm Len Weinberg, I'm married to Fran Gallen. Fran is the artist, I'm the engineer. 
and you kind of wonder how we get together. Normally when I go from a point to another place, I go straight. And at the beginning of our relationship, we had to argue about that way or her way of, she never goes around circles and gets there. But I've come over the years to realize that we get to the same object. I love Fran's artwork. I love watching her process. It's very thoughtful. And this is very abstract, but it hits my nervous system properly. I mean, I really like the way it impacts on me. I love her color. I've loved all her work. I just think she's a great artist. The earlier ones from 2008 and 9 are very intense color. I was using a certain series of painted acrylic sheets that were high chroma, cutting up those papers and making these stripes. And I would apply them to board, leaving white space in between, and then take a gouache and paint the colors that I felt went. <laughs> and a lot of them are complementary colors. Then as I went on and began bringing in these photographs, the palette has changed, it's a little more subtle. I'm always cutting up my work, <laughs> so I cut up some of those longer strips that were printed on and cut the leaf shape, so they found their way into this floating world. I'm quite pleased with this too, so this is where I'll pick up next week when I get back to work. I'm Abigail Weinberg, I'm uh, Fran's daughter, youngest. <laughs> I've enjoyed actually watching her whole progression over her career. It's really wonderful. And who's this little guy? Who is that little guy? <laughs> Did you catch him? <laughs> kind of. Jack Mariner. These dazzling works will be on display at the Rosenfeld Gallery until May 26, 2012. Hey Jack, do you like your grandma's art? She didn't really neglect your uncle when he was a kid, did she?